I'm David Gessner. This is my wife, Tabitha Gessner, and we just celebrated 28 years of marriage. I met David at a Halloween party. I was dressed as a hobo. I looked horrible, absolutely horrible. I don't even know. There wasn't anything that would be attractive to how I looked that night. And after being- But it was a Halloween party. So. It, it was, it was. But after being there a few hours, two dancing gorillas come wandering in carrying on and we were laughing hysterically. Do you want to share a little bit about that? Come to find out I was one of those dancing gorillas. I was actually there with Tabitha's cousin, unbeknownst um, to, to me that they were cousins. And um, he introduced me to Tabitha actually out of costume then. Right. So we did we did meet out of costume and And we we ended the night just sitting talking for hours. Yes, I sat on the dancing gorilla's lap for a few hours talking, but it was quite fun. Early on in our relationship, we both had a hope and desire that we would have a relationship that would be uh, Christ-centered and focused um, on our faith. However, <laughs> we weren't modeled that very well, so we didn't know how to do it. We had to really take an initial step to figure out what those steps would look like. We had several broken relationships that were very close to us. And one thing David and I both had talked about early on in our relationship was that we didn't want to be a statistic of divorce or be a statistic of a broken relationship. And so we had to find the hope. Early on, Hebrews 4, 16 became I don't want to say my life first, but became a verse to me that I knew that God's grace was sufficient for me and for us as a couple. And how that played out in our relationship was very meaningful to me that I knew that I had to uh, be able to extend grace in many areas of my life. And my hope came because grace was extended to me. I think the biggest hope we have uh, as a couple and as a family is that uh, we know our salvation is in Christ, and that um, even though we went through difficult times in our marriage, and obviously we lost many of our family members close to us, we have the hope that we'll be together again with them through our salvation in Christ. David and I often talk about the chapters of our lives, and in that book, there's one chapter that, for me, was very difficult. Losing my dad to suicide, um, I certainly became very hopeless. It wasn't an easy journey. Um, it wasn't an easy season, and it certainly wasn't an easy chapter. But what I reflect on is that God never left me through that. And it was through our brothers and sisters in Christ, our family, David, his foundation in Christ, um, that hope kept reappearing to me, that I was secure in who I was, even though I was so broken, God never left me. And so hope uh, to me is that when you do feel hopeless, God never gives up and he continues to pursue you. And so even in those moments of feeling very hopeless, I had hope and I look back on those 12 years of working through that journey and understanding that God loves us so deeply, even in the midst of the most broken chapters of our lives. All I kept pointing tab towards was the anchor that we have in Christ and that our hope is there. We can't, we can't have our hope in anything or anybody else because it all is anchored with Christ. Without the hope of Christ, I think our lives would be pointless. For me, during times in my life when I felt hopeless, I would always just pick up my Bible and read about what Christ did and what he continues to do for us. And that just inspired me to get rid of the hopelessness and look towards the promises that I have already seen come true in my life and look back and reflect on all the goodness that I've already been through. And that kind of helped me get rid of the hopelessness that I was feeling at that time. I love the fact that David and I have for years have been on the same page of how to share our life with others. Once our relationship was uh, firmly rooted in Christ and we had that hope where we needed it to be, we decided to make our marriage a mission that we would be 
uh, willing and able to help any of those around us with their marriage and with the relationship for Christ's kingdom and to point people towards Christ uh, with a Christ-centered marriage. And that was the, the mission that we still work at today. Mm -hmm. As we celebrate the Advent season, we can honestly say, our family story is built on hope. Today, we light the candle of hope.